Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot Foundation in the color B10 Beige and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. Excuse me, and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and the MAC Lipping Primer in your Rose. Then I set everything with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Natural. I mean, mineralized fin skin finish natural in the shade medium. Then um, I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime Extended Eyeshadow Base. And then I went over that with the same MAC powder. Sorry, I'm just looking at something. Then I went in with the... Uh, Many MUA palette today. Again, I know I was going to use a different palette, but then I just decided to use this. It's beautiful. I love it. I'm so obsessed with it. So I went in with Beaches and Cream and then Sora on the crease. Then I went in with Mars and Frappe on the um, actual crease. I think it just looks gorgeous. And then I went in with Aphrodite on the outer corners. Then I went in with Luna on the lid, and then I went in with Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Mad Max Brown. It was basically the same look as yesterday, all except I added Mars in the crease. Um, but basically the same look. Um, but the Mars makes it look different, and I love it. Um, and then I went in with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer, and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primer Radiant Rose. And I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Burning Powder. Then I went in with the shade Arnimus Foiled Eyeshadow from the same palette on the inner corners. And I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter in the darker shade and then baked it with the lighter shade. Again, it's like basically my go-to if I'm in a rush. I just, I just know it's going to blend out so beautifully that I'm just like, I don't feel like wasting time with the Kat Von D sometimes because it's like I have to blend it just a little bit more. So I just love it. And then I went in with the MAC Powder Blush in Melba. Then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit in, why can I ever remember the name of this, in that glow. And the shade Bubbly and Dripping in Gold. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. And then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil. And then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I just filmed my favorites, so I'm trying to talk really fast and rip my makeup off. Then I primed my lips with the By Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the Color Pop Lippy Pencil in Skimpy. And then I filled them in with the Girlactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Bashful. Again, I don't know if I like these lipsticks, but it looks pretty, but overall, I don't think I really like them too much. And that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Um, I don't know why I don't record these things earlier because I always end up having to reapply my makeup and then I just get so tired when I actually am able to record my makeup look because I came back from the city and... I just got home like 10 minutes ago and I all I want to do is rip my makeup off but I have to get through this first. And yes, I love this lip color. I will tell you what it is in a second. I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is anyway. So I primed my face with the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer. And then the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I went with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5 just because it's my trusty foundation and I always know it's going to look good so I just wanted to use that. Sorry my cheeks look a little orange but um, I just had to reapply my blush a little bit and I kind of like went a little bit overboard with powder on the sides so I had to redo it. But whatever. Um, I don't really care what it looks like right now. I really don't. <laughs> Stop examining. And the Cover FX custom, custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Aquan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare, Min Bare Minerals Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm and the MAC Rip and Primate Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Eyeshadow Base and then went over them with the same MAC Powder. And then I went in with all Makeup Geek shadows today. I was going to use Lime Crime, but then I was like, no, I want to use Makeup Geek like usual. So I went in with Beaches and Cream first. Then I went in with a little bit of Creme Brulee just to make the crease a little bit warmer. And then I went in with Desert Sand on the crease. And then I went in with Latte on the crease to darken it up. And then I went in with Bitten and Mocha on the outer corners. And then on the lid, I went in with the Dual Chrome Shade in Ritzy. And then I went in with Vanilla Bean on the brow bone like usual. 
Then I line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Then I prime my lashes with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer. My lashes kind of like just are just not there anymore. Um, but I didn't feel like reapplying mascara, so this is what you get. And then I went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm, the MAC Lip and Primer Radiant Rose. And then I set, everything with the, set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder like I always do. Then I lined my waterline with the ColourPop Gel Liner in the shade Stomper. And then I went in with the MAC and Play Kicker Black Lash. And then um, I highlighted the inner corners with Makeup Geek's Dual Chrome Shadow in Voltage. Then I contoured with the Kat Von D Contour Kit. And I went in with Shadow Play. And then I lightened it with the light shade called Lucid. I probably should have lightened it up a little bit more for this, but whatever. Then I went in with a Holy Grail blush, which is Becca's Mineral Blush in Wild Honey. I just really wanted to use it today. I just love it. Then I went in with the Anastasia Glow Kit and highlighted in, in Gleam or Glow, that glow, that glow, the warmer one. And I went in with Starburst, not Starburst, Sunburst and Bubbly and highlighted. And then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Taurus. And then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Salem. I love it. So muchers. And I just wanted to say, I probably won't make a dedicated video to this, but I just saw that my um, Too Faced Mystery Bag unboxing video hit a thousand views today. And I am so happy that I've had my second video hit thousand a thousand views. So thank you so much. And I probably will make a separate video um, thanking everybody anyway. But thank you so much. So I'm going to go. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I was debating on filming, but since my hair looks like shit... And I basically have a lot of time to relax now. I just went out with Josh for like two hours after work. And then he was tired, so he decided to drop me off early around like 6.45. It's now like 7 o'clock. I worked until like 2.40ish. And then he picked me up around 4. And then we, we, we hung out for like two hours. So sometimes if he's tired, um, we just hang out the next day. I mean, we are going to be spending like the entire day together tomorrow. So... Um, and I'm pretty tired from going to the city yesterday. Sorry, I just thought it looked weird, but it actually looks okay. So, um, I decided to keep a neutral look on, but then just added a pop of color on the waterline and then just changed my lipstick and added some eyeliner. So I primed my face with the, what did I use today? Uh, the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup Forever Step On Equalizer and the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I went in with the YSL Touche Clot B10 Beige Foundation and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Kevin Kwan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Metals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer and the Color Light and the MAC Ripper Primer Radiant Rose and then I set that with the MAC Mineral Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the um, MAC 24 Hour Eye Extended Base and then went over them with the same MAC powder. And then I went in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette today, not Chocolate Bar. And I used um, Cashew Chew and Almond Truffle on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Mocha. Then I darkened up the outer corners with uh, Malted, I believe, or Malted Milk Bowl. The shade that's Malted, there's like three Malted shades in like each palette or something. <coughs> I mean one Malted shade in each palette is what I meant to say. And then I went in with Divinity on the brow bone, and then I went in with Satin Sheets on the inner corners. Then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper after work. I did originally go in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, but then I went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara just to add a little bit more volume. I just feel like my mascara does not hold and like kind of falls. I probably need to get a curler again and start curling my lashes. Sorry, I'm so tired from yesterday because I didn't really sleep last night, so bear with me. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Metals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Conceal in the color light. And the MAC Pippin Primate Radiant Rose, and I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I um, lined my waterline. I'm sorry. 
with the ColourPop gel liner in the shade Bee Sting, I believe. And what I don't like about this, I mean, I love it, but the fact that it's smudged only after wearing it for about two hours because I saw that it's smudged over here and I had to like pack on concealer again so you couldn't see it on that part of my eye, but it did look like it was, um, it looked like I was an Egyptian, um, like having like little like blue tears, like. I don't understand why it's smudged after that little time, but whatever. And then I went in with the MAC and applied like a black lash. Then I did kind of re-highlight my inner corner, but I was too lazy to grab the Chocolate Bonbons palette because it's like underneath other palettes. So I just grabbed the Many MUA palette and, par and popped Artemis into the inner corner, and it still looks really pretty. Um, then I actually did not contour today. I actually really liked how my makeup looked without a contour today, so I just left it without a contour. Um, and also, I, again, don't usually have time to contour in the morning if I'm in a hurry. So I just went in with the MAC Powder Blush in the shade Spellbinder. I really love this shade. It's so neutral and so pretty, so, and I thought it was so perfect with this look. Then I highlighted with the Too Faced Candlelight Glow in the shade Rosy Glow. I just love it. It just adds such a beautiful glow to your face. Then I highlighted, then I went over everything with the Hourglass Luminous Light Powder, then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer, then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Contempo, and then I filled them in with the um, Makeup Monsters Liquid Lipstick in the shade Flutter. Because I was going to wear um, Lime Crimes Cupid again, but then I was like, no, you know what, I kind of want to go with a little bit of a paler pink, and actually the... Pale pink looked really good with what I was wearing, so I just decided to wear this instead. Um, I just decided to throw on a cute um, sweat jacket. I really love the sweat jacket, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Bye. Okay, so hi. So, I just want to tell you about this look today. I feel like I always started the same, and you guys already know what I'm going to say. So, I'm just going to start telling you about my makeup look. So I did go out all day with my boyfriend, so I tried to keep my makeup on all day, but I'm so ready to take it off right now. We went out to breakfast this morning, so I had, I've had i had it on since like 9.30 a.m. It's like 11 at night. It's like the longest I've had my makeup on in a while. So anyway, I primed my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer and the Nourishing Primer. Then I went in with the same, I basically went in with the same face products as I did yesterday. So I was just so obsessed on how the YSL looked last night that I wanted to wear it again today. So I wore the YSL Touche Cloud B10 Beige Foundation and mixed that with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Becca Shimmy Skin Perfector in Moonstone. I don't know if I said I, I mixed the Moonstone Becca Shimmy Skin Perfector. I've just been wanting to have my skin to have a little bit more glow in it. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer on Light Warm and the MAC Rep and Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set everything the MAC Real Life Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime 24-Hour Eye Extended Base and then went over that with the same powder. Then I went in with Makeup Geek's Cupcake as a transition shade and then I went in with MAC's uh, eyeshadow in the shade Swish on the crease. I just wanted to use it today to not have such a harsh um, pink in the crease, so I decided to go in with um, a like a little bit lighter pink. And then I darkened up the crease a little bit more with Simply Marlena by Makeup Geek. Then I went in with Pegasus by Makeup Geek on the lid and went over that with Max Aquadisiac um, single eyeshadow. Sorry, I'm so tired. And then I went in with Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek on the brow bone. Then I lined my eyes with the Cat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. Then I primed my lashes with the Lancome Primer and then went over them with the Maybelline Lash and Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with Urban Decay N Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prim Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then I lined my waterline with ColourPop's Gel Liner in the shade Piggy Bank. And then I went in on the inner corners with the shade Whimsical by Makeup Geek. And then I went in with Max Extended Play Geek Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Then I contoured with the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette today with Shadow Play and then baked it with the lighter shade. I think it's called Lucid. Then I decided to go in with an older blush, but I think this blush may be old or just like 
not as pigmented as I thought because when I was trying to build up the pigment I just didn't really think it lasted too long and I was like oh I should use a blush that lasts all day I'll use a tart blush and then it was like barely pigmented and I mean it was pigmented but it wasn't like bam pink but at the same time I didn't really want too much pink on my cheeks because I didn't want to do as much makeup as I usually do for like a colorful look I was wearing originally my cupcake dress um, but my boyfriend wanted me to change because he thought I would be cold, so I decided to put on my Beauty and the Beast shirt instead. Um, but I'm actually glad I wore this anyway because it's a lot more comfortable. Then I had, so I, I did go in with Tarte Amazonian 12 hour, 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the shade Dollface. Then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit with the shade Starburst and Crushed Pearl. I just love that glow kit. I'm using it so much. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass and the Slight Powder. Then I set everything with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Contempo. And then I filled them in with the Lime Crime Velveteen in the shade Cupid. This is the third time I'm wearing this lipstick. I just love it so much. I've been wearing it so much. It's like a wearable pink, but it still has a little bit of an oomph to it. So like... It's like a pink that I love wearing with my colorful looks, but it's not like as hot pink as the pink velvet is. I just love this. I've been wearing it so much and I love it. So yeah, that's it. Bye. Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I am waiting for my boyfriend to come over. Um, he's on his way, but I just decided to record this first. So I prime my face with the Smashbox Photo Footage Foundation Primer and the Makeup Fiber Stuff on Equalizer in the Nourishing Primer. Then I went in with the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation in the color 5, and the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10, and the Kevin and Kwan Celestial Liquid Lightning. Then I concealed and highlighted with the Bare Metals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light, and the MAC Ribbon Primer Radiant Rose, and then I set everything with the MAC Miller Skin Finish in the shade Natural. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime Eye Extended Base, and then I went over it with the same MAC powder. And then I went in with a new palette today, which is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. I did just receive it in the mail. So I wanted to play around with it, and I had plenty of time to use it today because um, I didn't have to work. So I could just, you know, throw it on, and I didn't have to wait until tomorrow to use it. So I used the shade, um, do I have it? I have it right here. Um, extra creamy all over the... Uh, I and then I went in with peanut butter on the crease and I decorated the crease more with peanut brittle and then I went in with jammin on the outer corners and then I went in with jelly on the lid and then I went in with spread the love on the brow bone again honestly I freaking love the palette so much this is what it looks like I'm digging it so much so I'm so glad that I got to use it today and then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper then I went in with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer, and then I went over them with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the Bare Metals Bare Skin Complete Cover Serum Concealer in the color Light, and the MAC Ribbon Primer Radiant Rose, and I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes, and then I highlighted the inner corners with Bananas from the same palette. I really, really like this inner corner highlight. Then I contoured with the Marc Jacobs Instamark Dreamer Filter. I just wanted something, a really natural contour today because I'm not really going to be doing much. We're probably going to, um, my mom is away, so my dad's best friend is here and my boyfriend's coming over. So I think we're just going to um, either order something and pick it up or we're just going to go eat something. Um, so I just used the darker shade, obviously, to contour and then the lighter shade to bake it. And then I went in with the Galactic blush star blush in the shade Naples and then I highlighted with the Galactic Beauty um, star powder in the shade natural just because I wanted to use both of them today I wanted to use most of the products that I did haul for you guys and I am going to be putting up shortly probably tonight actually um, and then I went over everything with the hourglass and this light powder then I actually set everything with the MAC not the MAC, with the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix spray, just because I didn't want to use the Urban Decay because I don't really have to worry about it wearing off right now. Um, and I don't need something that is going to keep it on like all day. I'm probably going to take it off around like 10 o'clock. Um, then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Lumiere. And then I filled them in with the 
ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Lumiere 2. And that is it. Bye. Shit, I forgot that I went in with the shade Peanut Butter Cup on the actual crease. I Sorry, I kind of forgot to mention that. So I used Peanut Butter, then Peanut Brittle, then Peanut Butter Cup, and then Jammin'. There's so many Peanut Butter shades, it's like kind of hard to remember. There's three shades named after Peanut Butter. So yeah, that's it. Bye! Okay, so hi, so I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. Sorry if my brow looks a little bit janky. I gotta tweeze these two right here. Um, but I really was feeling my makeup today, so I was like, whatever. So I did work today, and then um, my boyfriend came over, and we got some cheesecake to go, and then we just watched a movie. So I didn't decide to add any liner or contour today, because it really wasn't necessary. So I primed my face with the um, Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer and the Smashbox Primer Water. Then I went in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in the color Y225 and the CoverFX Custom Cover Drops in N10 and the Becca Shimmery Skin Perfector in Moonstone. <coughs> and then I concealed and highlighted with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Warm in the MAC Rip and Primer Radiant Rose. Then I set everything with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. And then I primed my eyes with the MAC 24 Hour Eye Extended Base Prep and Prime. And then I went in with um, the same MAC powder to set it, and then I went in with the Manny MUA Makeup Geek palette again. I just love it, and this has basically been like my go-to look for work because I kept I keep on using the same shadows. Um, but I just, I love the palette, and I'm really excited I got to use it again today. So I went in with Beaches and Cream, of course, it's my trans transition shade, and then I went in with Sora on the crease, then I went in with Frappe to darken up the crease more, and then I went in with Aphrodite on the outer corners, and then I went in with Luna on the lid and then I went in with vanilla bean on the brow bone and then I went in with Artemis on the inner corners. It's basically just been the same colors that I'm using just like usually I would just like add Mars but this is basically the look I've been doing and I just am obsessed with it. I love it so much. Then I went in with the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara on the top and the bottom and then I went in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and Light Warm and the MAC Prep and Primate Rainy Rose to conceal and highlight under my eyes and then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Then I went in with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette today. I just feel like I haven't used it in a little bit so I wanted to use it today. And I went in with the shades Lo-Fi and Angel. I mixed the two together. I really love these blushes. They really do last a really long time. They might look faint when you first put them on. Sorry, like I'm a little bit itchy here, so I'm just getting like red marks for some reason. Um, it did look like a little faint this morning. Sorry, I'm so tired. Um, but then I feel like it warmed up during the day, and now like I did reapply a little bit more after work, but I really love this blush palette. It's really great. And then I highlighted with the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade Bubbly. Look at that. Look at that shade, the uh that glow right? Like the warmer tone highlights, like the golden ones. I used bubbly. It's so pretty. So that's what I used to highlight. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I went over everything with the Hourglass with Miss Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Skimpy. And then I filled them in with the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Carmelo. I really do love this lipstick. I really need to make sure I layer it a little bit better because it can get very drying. But now it looks literally perfect. I mean, it will get drying, but still, as much lipstick I will layer on to get the color even because sometimes, like... If I don't let it completely dry on the inner part, because, like, it's really hard for me to, like, leave my mouth open like this because my mouth gets, like, really dry before it, like, dries all the way. You know what I mean? That it'll, like, transfer, and then I would have to apply, like, more and more and more until, like, it's actually coated like this and looks normal. Um, and then it'll, like, peel and crumble a little bit, but that's because I'm putting so on on too many layers. But right now, it feels great, and even when I put on as many layers as I do, or if it flakes a little bit, it won't completely flake off, and when I layer it back up, it'll, you know, dry down, and it'll feel drying, and but it will fix the problem. And that's the difference between these and the Girl Acting Matte lip paints. Um, but I still really love the Stila ones, and this is the shade I've been wearing the most out of my Stila ones because this is the newest one. I've, this is only the second time I'm wearing them. And honestly, I feel like it's making my lips look bigger, so I really like that too. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really have been trying a lot to rotate all of my lipsticks. I think I'm pretty much good with rotating my lipsticks right now. I did rearrange a lot of my lipsticks. I might show like that part of my makeup collection. I'm trying to think of like other videos I want to film, like maybe a products I want to use this month video. I've been thinking about that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye! Okay, so hi. So I just wanted to tell you about my makeup look for today. I did work um, tonight and now I'm just home. So um, I primed my face with the... <coughs> Excuse me. With the Smashbox Primer Water and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Equalizer in the Smoothing Primer and then the Nourishing Primer on my nose. Then I concealed and highlighted with the... No, I went in with my foundation. Duh, I went in with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Vanilla. I was actually originally going to use the Clinique one, but then since I was doing a look with a Too Faced palette, I wanted to use a Too Faced foundation and then everything else wasn't Too Faced, but I just really felt like using the Born This Way foundation instead, and honestly, it's such a gorgeous foundation. It just like makes your skin look so flawless, but it still looks so natural. It's probably my favorite full coverage foundation I've ever tried. It's just gorgeous, and I can't believe that. I don't use it as often as I should, but I am still trying to use it. I did mention it in my last favorites, but I, I love it. <coughs> and then the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in N10. And then the uh, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Moonstone and mix those all together. And then I concealed and highlighted with the NYX HD Concealer in the shade Fair, I believe. I don't think it's porcelain. I think it's fair. And the MAC Ribbon Primer Radiant Rose. I actually really liked how it concealed today. It, my concealer barely creased today, so that's pretty good. I don't know. Everything seemed to work out today, and I shot a Get Ready With Me, and somehow everything was well blended, well uh, applied, and nothing was dry, and I don't know. It just looks good. <laughs> <clears throat> then I set everything with the MAC Marley Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium. <coughs> Sorry. Then I primed my eyes with the MAC Prep and Prime Extended Eye Base. 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. I really say the name so different every single time. And then I went in with Makeup Geek Speeches and Cream as my tra transition shade. And then I went in with the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette again. I am so obsessed with this palette. Like... I love it. I just, I always know that I'm going to be obsessed with a Too Faced palette when I get it. And I, I just love them. And they're still my favorite brand. So this palette is freaking bomb. And I used basically all the colors that I used last time. Now I basically have used every color already. It's not very hard to work these into a look. So I used peanut butter on the crease. Then I darkened up the crease more with Nuts About You. Then I went in with Peanut Butter Cup on the outer corners, and then I really wanted to use this shade Bananas on the lid, so that's what I used on the lid, and it's such a gorgeous gold shade. It's like a yellow gold. I love it. It's so pretty. <clears throat> Sorry, my uh, computer was like having, was a flashing a little bit, so I wanted to see what it was. Um, and then I went in with... Uh, extra creamy on the brow bone and I think that's it that I used from Z palette I tried to go in with spread the love on the inner corners but it just wasn't working because I thought it'd be a little bit more shimmery I thought it would be a matte shade but it wasn't really like showing up so I decided to just pop um, makeup geek starry eyed on the inner corners and it just looked a lot better so that's what I did instead and a little bit of bananas too um, but I think Bananas might be my favorite shade in the palette. I think it's just so beautiful. I just love that color. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this, and I think they did an amazing job. I mean, hello, it's Too Faced. They really, like, never do anything wrong for me. So that's what I used today. Then I lined my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown. Then I primed them with the Lancome Seals XL Booster Primer, and then went over them with the, um... Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Sorry. Then I concealed and highlighted under my eyes with the NYX HD Concealer and the MAC Ripper Primate Radiant Rose. And then I set that with the Laura Mercier Secret Writing Powder. Then I went in with the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash on the bottom lashes. Sorry, I'm just getting like a little bit of flakies. Um, just a little bit. Um, and then 
went in with Makeup Geek Starry Eyed in the inner corners and I contoured with the MAC Contour and Sculpt Yourself palette today and I used the, sh the shade Sculpt to contour and then I went in with Emphasize to brighten and clean up that contour. I just love this for contouring. I always forget how beautiful it is for contouring so that's what I used today. Then I went in with the with two blushes from the same palette. I went in with Peaches and Sun Bask on the cheeks and then I highlighted with an oldie but a goodie. Actually I haven't used this in a couple weeks and I just realized why it's still my favorite highlighter. I used Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. It's just so gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then I went over everything with the Hourglass and Miss Light Powder. Then I set everything with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Then I filled in my brows with the Chanel Brow Pencil and then set them with the Anastasia Claire Brow Gel. Then I primed my lips with the Bite Beauty Lip Primer. Then I lined them with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Skimpy. And then I filled them in with the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in the shade I'm Nude. And then I went over them with a gloss and I went in with the Bite Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Rambutan. Um, I actually have not worn this lipstick since I did a first impression lip liquid lipstick and check-in on it. And I think that was like two months ago already so I'm finally wearing it again. And I actually, I really do like it actually. Um, honestly, I prefer any other liquid lipstick formula over the Galactic Matte Lip Paints because this doesn't flake off like the other one. Like, it did flake a little bit, but that's because I tried to put the gloss on and sometimes it gets a little bit flaky if you don't let it dry all the way. But it looks okay now and this goes on nice and it, it dries nice. And when I put a gloss on it, it's not like the rest of the, sorry, I just got like, lip gloss on my hand but it's not like it's gonna flake off the rest just because I put a liquid lip put a um I can't talk right now put a gloss over it like when I was trying to do that with the galactic matte lip paint it just was peeling and it was just like a mess but with this at least I can fix it and it looks good like it won't like go anywhere so yeah that's pretty much it bye, -bye.